In the last video, we blew up the LEGO city with a nuke, so today I'm gonna build a LEGO bunker to protect the people of LEGO city from the nuclear waste above ground. Grab your hazmat suits and let's begin. First up, we need to create the wasteland, and it's an empty and desolate place, so let's make it feel like it. <sighs> the wasteland. A place with endless possibilities. Ish. It's also quite a dangerous place, filled with dangers lurking behind every corner, so maybe we need somewhere safe. Maybe we need a bunker. This video is heavily inspired by the game series Fallout. Uh, if you hadn't noticed already, I'm a huge fan of Fallout, so this video is gonna take a lot of inspiration from it. Everything from the Fallout games to the mobile game Fallout Shelter. This video is not sponsored, but as I mentioned, heavily inspired. Let's move on. So the idea is to build some kind of bunker. Very inspired by Fallout Shelter. The structure of every room has its own theme and its own purpose. We also have the elevators on the side. So here we basically have a rough sketch of what I want to do. Let's start by building the entrance. I modified the wasteland part a bit to make it fit on top of the bunker. So it's actually a part of the bunker. So this is what we ended up with. I think it's time we start building that bunker now. This is the absolute first floor on the bunker, so this will be above ground, and then we will build downwards. We have the wasteland, and then we have the very nice entrance to the bunker. I think this girl has had enough of living outside in the nuclear radiation, and she really wants to get inside that bunker. But I think the waiting list is way too long. Great, we have the entrance, now we just have to build somewhere to live and somewhere to eat. So let's build a diner. Before we even start building the diner, I think we need some people that actually lives in the bunker. So let's build a whole bunch of survivors that survived the nuclear blast. Here we have some regular people that just lives in the bunker. And here we have the staff. We have the kitchen staff and we have some janitors, everything. We ended up with a whole bunch of people and I think this is enough to populate the bunker. So let's start building that diner, huh? The Fallout games are set in a very weird time period because it's actually after the Second World War, but it's also in the future. So the aesthetic is kind of like the 50s and the 40s. So that's what we're going for right here. I'm building a kitchen area that looks like a diner from the 50s. Man, am I happy with this. It really turned out great. I, it really got that vibe that I wanted. So here it is. Let's take a look at it. We got our main chef preparing a nice dinner course for the guests. He's hacking up some chicken. My man is using the best known ingredient to man, baked beans. Over here we also have a coffee machine for those hardworking people in the, in the bunker. This girl is working as a waitress, so she's delivering the food to the guests. I hope she gets paid enough. Apparently some people get really, really hungry. He's even trying to eat a hot dog with a spoon. What's bro thinking? I think we really managed to capture that vibe that I wanted. Let's move on. Let's build a freezer, a walk-in freezer for the kitchen area. We need somewhere to store all that food. But it looks like the freezer has some kind of infestation. Our tiny chef is raiding the freezer. Oh my god! Ratatouille! Huh? The idea is to be able to put all of these together and stack them on top of each other. And I think this kitchen area turned out great. We got the freezer, we got the diner, everything looks great together. I wanna know what they're hiding in there. It looks like something is in the freezer room. Oh, alright. Well, everybody's got their own secret. I guess they're running out of protein. Hey! Hey! They need somewhere to sleep. Let's build a living room, a living space, a living quarters where everybody can sleep and just stash their own stuff to feel at home. Let's add some bunk beds and a closet. Let's also add some people that live there. I think this became a wholesome room. I, I would like to stay there for, well, for, for maybe one night, but not longer than that. It's still in a bunker, underground. But it looks a bit cozy. Here they can start new families, they can watch some TV, play some music, just draw a bit and enjoy life. Underground. I think this guy is a bit tired of the color blue though. And the, someone is really, really waiting for Christmas to come around. Now that we have several floors, I think we need some way to get from one floor to another. Let's build some elevators. 
When it comes to elevators, I take a lot of inspiration from Fallout Shelter, the mobile game, because they got elevators on the side and it's a very clear overview on where you got elevators and where you can travel between floors. So here's what we got. We got this nice door and then we got this elevator shaft. It's pretty simple. Let's build another one. This one is under construction, so they're doing some maintenance work on it and trying to repair it. I added these blue and purple spark elements and I think it turned out great. It really looks like he's welding something onto the wall. Let's take a look at how they stack. It looks perfect. Let's put it all together. Next up on the sketch we have floor 3, which contains a med bay, a science lab and some bathrooms. The wasteland above ground is still a very dangerous place. Mamma mia! So I think we need somewhere for the people to go when they get hurt. Or in this case, when you get a deadly dose of radiation damage. <laughs> I'm of course talking about a med bay, a hospital, somewhere to get healed up and clean your wounds. This place is really important to the bunker because you need to keep the people of the bunker happy and healthy. This was a really fun part to build because I got to be creative with the cabinets and all of the like medical equipment, so I'm very happy with this one. Hopefully my boy can get some medical help now and remove that radiation, so he doesn't grow an extra limb. I don't know how much I trust this doctor, however, because she's got a saw. I hope he doesn't have to remove the arm. We have a med bay for the people of the bunker, but now I think we need some bathrooms, because everybody has needs, right? Over here we have the bathroom, and I think the janitor who's cleaning the place is actually on the toilet right now. He doesn't notice the highly irradiated Sami walking towards him. I really hope he makes it, because he, <laughs> he has a lot more cleaning to do. On this floor we need something more. I think we need a science lab. Somewhere where they can do research on all of the radiation out in the wasteland and also the glowing zombies that seems to be appearing in the bunker. I want this to be a clean environment with a fresh look. It needs to be white, it needs to be sterile, it has to have a science lab look. I really think I managed to capture that look by creating these cabinets with the white and the tan counters. I really nailed that like hospital lab, science lab look. One thing I wanted to do here was to create a tank where they experiment on a zombie, but I want it to be glowing, I want it to be green, a green light, so I added some lights to it. I found some affordable brick compatible lights that I could just connect to my Lego bricks and then connect it to a battery pack to light up my scene. Now this looks like a shady place. Some weird science experiments is going on here. I'm happy with it and we managed to get that glow from the tank with the zombie in it that I was talking about. Ah, oh, ouch. It seems like they're also experimenting on animals. Looks like this guy just found out about some pretty bad news or some weird stuff. Hopefully they will come to some good conclusions. I thought to myself, what more rooms do we need? And I... Obviously we need somewhere where they grow their own food. So let's build some kind of farming room where they have artificial lights and just make their own food. If you've ever played Fallout, there's a high chance you've seen one of these guys. These are called Mr. Handy Robots and I really, really, really wanted to include one in this build. So I decided to design my own. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. These are essentially robot butlers. That's just here to help out and help the people who live in the bunker. So let's add this guy into the farm and finish up this build. This robot is doing what he's doing best. He's doing some farming and helping out in the bunker. Seems like they're doing some research as well. These people seem like they really love what they're doing. And I guess I would too. I would prefer this job over any other job in the bunker. How about you? I feel like we're missing a very, very important part of a bunker. I think we need some power. That's right, we need some power. So let's build a generator room, somewhere where they can generate power to light up the whole bunker. For this part, I really wanted to have that industrial feel. So I just went all out with the gray. Nice, this place looks uh, completely safe and legit. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get near those sparks, maybe? It looks like these people are doing a great job keeping the power alive in the bunker. Now it's time for me to do my part and install all of the lights. And this is not something I've been looking forward to. After a few hours of just trying to figure out how power cords actually work and work with these tiny, tiny connectors, I managed to light up the bunker. Take a look at this.
Alright, so obviously I need to install more lights, but I'm very happy overall. This bunker turned out great. Maybe I'll do another video on it and install more lights and build even more rooms. Like the video and let me know what you think, and maybe we'll expand the bunker even more. Hey, LEGO City has been blown up by a nuclear bomb. Emerge from the bunker and reclaim the wastelands from the raiders and the zombies. Rebuild the city with the new LEGO City Apocalypse Survival Set. Let's make a part 2 of this bunker video and comment down below on what I missed and what you want to see in that video. I've had word from a settlement that needs help.